blessing us with your presence. Uh, before we have ma'am officially address all of us, I'd just like to take a small moment to remind all the scholars in the room and everyone who's been associated with the summer policy camp that today's convocation, like I said, it's not the end to our journey. In fact, it's a beautiful start to embark together on newer paths of learning and un unlearning. In the last six weekends, we've spent together having time over more than 30 plus sessions by 26 faculty members. Every scholar who's here has given a tech talk, has made posters, has completed assessments, have been here for Wednesday open houses, contributed to group discussions, and has made their all the efforts to be present in the summer policy camp and contributed to the best way to our learning curves as much as possible. Like I said before, the process of learning and growing together has just begun. In fact, uh, currently six of the scholars are working on a policy charter for NEB 2020. And CCS is delighted to have all of you join the momentum of ideas and social change through public policy. Just as a quick reminder, already CCS Academy is 12,000 plus alums base. And we are more than proud to have 42 of you being added to that alum base. So like a virtual clap to all of you. And this is the first batch of summer policy camp who will be starting the alum base network for the coming batches. So I won't be speaking a lot and I'll just take a moment to in fact showcase you a small video that we have for the summer policy camp. Just give me a moment. Uh, I'm really sorry, my uh, screen is a little frozen. Uh, Sadek Samrud, if you guys have the video open, could you just uh, try? Thank you. Um, some of you will have to pause, we can't see or uh, hear anything, so. Sorry, just a second. I can confirm to you that these will be the funnest and the most productive uh, six weeks um, for quite some time of your lives. What is public policy? Then how do we as citizens know what's a good public policy? Are there some principles that we can use to be able to decide whether this particular policy is a good policy or not? We will kind of try to understand the context in which Indian policy making has uh, started. So how did it start? Why? How did we get where we are today? Why public policy? For a better word. What is behavioral economics? What are the three pillars of an economy? Can somebody here tell me what's the difference between a right and a privilege? What do you think is the end goal of feminism or goals of feminism? Do you have a view on Gandhi's village republics? What, how was it related to the environment? Why do you think there were some things that were good, some things that were bad? Anything that was good there? So now another question for all of you. Why do you think some people live in poverty? Free market economy, you're, you are able to better yourself only when you are able to serve the consumer. But in this case, uh, India was pursuing socialism through government involvement in heavy industry. They don't uh, have that incentive. They don't know what consumer want because they're not talking to the consumer. Your theory of development matters. Theory of centralized, socialized development failed to lift enough people out of poverty. The theory of economic freedom combined with export-led development succeeded. Where is democracy? Democracy is not merely vote and shout. There's much more to democracy than we see or we pretend. We have to be a little more humble about the democratic credentials. A society that protects speech is a society that allows for even the most minority, the most perverse, the most weirdest points of views to be heard and to be aired and not banned. 
one size doesn't fit all when it comes to education so what we talked about learning different methods etc allow people to solve their problem on their own and then you create choice and voice and incentive mechanism so that there are people willing to do so rather than not willing to do so the world is complicated enough don't complicate it more by negotiating against yourself stimulating amazingly awe inspiring eye opening transformative truly absorbing wonderful literal vacation lecture super califragilistic expialidocious insightful the program was very informative erudite magnificent enlightening thought provoking splendid mind boggling and an incredible six weeks engrossing enriching insightful an astonishing and a prodigious six week program stimulating invigorating insightful hip hip hooray hooray hip hip hooray hooray, hooray! hooray! thank you everyone for being patient and um, sorry for the lag in the video we will definitely share the youtube link with you all of you uh, some of the do you mind sharing the presentation and uh, we can go ahead with the speech so like i said this convocation is not about us it's about all of you and we wanted to hear from you about your experiences your time at the summer policy camp so uh, some of the we go ahead and tell you that uh, how we go at that sure um so what i'll be doing now is be presenting <clears throat> your slides with your names on them as you see and when your slides shown um i'll also ask you to come up and speak um we'd like you to <clears throat> you know um in about 30 seconds tell us about your experience or just you know, let us know how you're feeling about having graduated from the summer policy camp so i'll just share my screen now Yeah, do we have Anahita? Yeah. So I had such high expectations going into this camp that I was worried as to what I would do if it didn't live up to them. To my surprise, it did all that and so much more. Thank you for all the great learnings, quotes, and memories. This has truly been the experience of a lifetime. Thank you, Anahita. Do we have Ananya? Is it an audible? Yeah, we can hear you and see you. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So, hi everyone. I'm Ananya. I think it was so, so, so tremendously heartwarming to work with so many young individuals. Um, the kind of things that were being discussed was so overwhelming. And one thing that I took away from like this policy camp was that nobody is too young to make a change. and um, i think that's all but yeah special kudos to dakshmi ma'am for getting this organized and asthan samrutha for always always being there for us i think i'll cherish this for a long long time thank you so much thank you ananya congratulations divya vanshika <clears throat> hi anshika are you here with us no i think you need to move on she's not in the room i think Sure. Um, Anubhuti. Hi everyone. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Um, hi everyone. So, um, one thing that I really, really am so grateful for joining the policy camp is because it made me a great listener. I am someone who talks a lot and blabbers a lot of stuff, but it made me kind of realize how important it is to like. pay attention to what others say like i do it all the time but it made me kind of reflect on so many things because because in every session we talked a lot we discussed a lot and i was in the one who you know usually talks a lot in the group but i loved hearing and i learned so much from it so that was like my biggest takeaway from policy camp and i'm beyond beyond grateful and thankful that i joined this camp and i just cannot thank you guys for it i made some really really great friends here so i'm really grateful for that thank you thank you anubhuti congratulations um <clears throat> archi is unfortunately um, is not here with us today but we congratulate her um do we have arushi 
yeah hi i'm arushi and uh, when i joined tcs policy i wanted to know new new things which we are really not taught in our books or daily life and it was so tremendous that i was totally i don't really sit for too long i am not a person who can sit for too long but this camp was so interesting and fun that i was really into it and i used to sit for a longer time for the assignments or for the classes so it's really helpful and it's awesome thank you arushi we congratulate you ayush the ccs summer policy camp was an informative journey for me exposing me to the foundational first principles of varied disciplines like public policy economics behavioral science and feminism it helped me in cultivating my mental frameworks and thought process and sharpened my skills to evaluate policies for a more designed thinking approach focusing on outcomes rather than intent tcs policy camp has definitely aided me in understanding the world the world around me better i express my gratitude to mentors faculty and my fellow mates for this fruitful and enriching experience if i were to summarize my learning in one quote it's by thomas dai public policy is whatever the government chooses to do or not to do thank you thank you ayush congratulations bakshali Hi, Bakshleen. Are you here? Uh, she's very much in the room, but I don't know if she can hear us. Yeah. Uh, maybe let's move on and come back to her later. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Congratulations, Bakshleen. Uh, Devesh. Yeah. Hi, everyone. So when I joined this camp, like. Everything you know before I joined seemed very interesting and enthusiastic, and it turned out to be as well. And with every session and every speaker, there was a new angle or perspective to the things which we may or may not know in this camp. So overall, a uh, great learning experience, and you know that's all everyone wants. So I'm pretty satisfied here. Thank you, Devesh. Congratulations, Desha. Hi everyone. So this camp has really been an amazing experience. All the sessions were really informative, clear, and made me even more curious to learn. The session honestly didn't feel like classes. It was more like interaction between peers. I want to thank all my push and think more with all the questions and all the provoking ideas. I especially want to thank our Asta, Samrudha, and Sa. Arthak, who made our session so much more enjoyable, and you know, who were there for us, helping us whenever we needed it. I'm grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dasha. Congratulations, Devyansh. Yes, thank you very much. I'm actually going to start my timer as well uh, before speaking. Um, so yes, I think if I was to describe my experience in one word, it would be absolutely surreal. And the kind of change it has it has brought about in my perspective, and the extent to which it has enlightened me, is truly astronomical. And I would like to thank all our mentors, especially I think Sam uh, Samrudha, Asta, and Sartha. Thank you so much for everything. And yeah, hip hip puray all the way. I had a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you, Devyansh. Congratulations. Harnoor. Uh, yes. So, describing my experience, this was such a wonderful journey. I must say, in the beginning, I was I didn't know anything about policy camp, and I not only totally learned about policy, but it has opened so many things. I, it has changed the way I think. It has changed the way I look at the world. The, the most beautiful thing about this, there were number of perspectives from all parts of the country. and it was just incredible to interact with you all and discuss and thank you i am just grateful for this camp thank you very much harnoor here hello so i was really grateful to have been able to attend this policy camp and it kind of changed my perspective towards policies and it also helped me increase my critical thinking skills so i thank you all and i had enjoyed a lot Thank you. Here, we were glad it was able to do that. Congratulations, Ishani.
Hi, Ishani, are you here? Uh, I don't think she's in the room. We can move. We can move. Kartike? Okay, we'll come back to Kartike. Congratulations. Kush? Okay, let's move on. Okay, yeah. congratulations, Kosh. Um, Lakshay, are you here with us? No, let's go ahead. Okay. Lavina? She Hi, shows. so I prepared a proper speech. So, Hi, I'm Lavina. You just have to show up, come with the desire to learn, and we'll provide you with everything else. There wasn't a single session before which I didn't feel super nervous. But I knew once I show up and see everyone talking about something they are so passionate about and know so much about, I would feel like being a part of the conversation. This is the safest environment I have been in. Babu Musha is in the Lambi night. And now that I look back, six weeks seemed like such a short period of time. Sure, it wasn't long, but it was grand and it was big. I had no idea so much could be done in six weeks. Thank you, everyone. I'm forever going to look back on this experience and smile the widest I can. P.S. Veg biryani is a legit thing and nobody can make me believe otherwise. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Lavina. Uh, congratulations. Maitri? Hi, everybody. <laughs> this has been one amazing experience. And if there is one thing I absolutely love about the summer policy camp and one thing I hold very close to my heart is the people here be it Asta, Samrudha and Sartat or my fellow scholars. I absolutely adore every one of you and I've had the honor of meeting and working with some amazing people here and I know I will never forget any one of you. I hope the opportunity arises to work, learn and grow with you again and Yes, these six weeks have been one amazing experience and I enjoyed every minute of it. Even Asta's feedback forms. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Maitre. Congratulations. Mansi. Hi, guys. Are you aud am I audible? Yes, very much. So firstly, I'd like to thank all of you guys for giving me for, for sent for, to Center for Civil Society to give me this opportunity to attend this policy camp. So many unique perspectives were brought during all the sessions by scholars, by all the speakers. And I was, I'm like very grateful and very happy to be a part of this camp. So, so like after going through this camp, I know that I'm a citizen of this nation and I'm a very important citizen because I can change a lot. And, you know, even just by discussing, by putting our opinions, just by offering some solutions, we are the ones who are running the country. And we need to like, we need to work on that. And thank you for making me realize that. And all the problems, all the policies, all the subjects that we discussed, it is a very big incentive for me to you know, dig deeper on those subjects, learn more. So thank you for that, for this introductory policy camp. It was absolutely amazing and an honor to be with you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mansi. Congratulations. Mira. Okay. Congratulations, Meera. We'll come back to you. Mihir. Hi. Um, I'm, I think I'll just tell three things that Summer Policy Camp uh, taught me and things. Uh, so basically it taught me ideas that I wouldn't have encountered anywhere else and anytime soon in my career. So thank you for that. And it introduced to me a, a whole new committee, which liked all the things that I liked and a lot of things I didn't like also, but which gave me room to grow. And um, things that I was taught here, I, I did learn here, I will remember them for a long, long time uh, in my life. And I think they'll benefit me uh, greatly. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mihir. Congratulations. Mihika. Oh, hello, everyone. So it was an amazing experience. And um, I got to learn so much, especially from my fellow scholars. Uh, everyone I had a chance to interact with is so wonderful and talented. Um, thank you, Astha, Samruddha, and Sartak for coordinating everything so flawlessly. Uh, I wish each and every one of you achieve great heights and all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you, Mihika. Congratulations. Niharika? Uh, yes, thank you. 
So I second almost everything that everybody mentioned. And uh, like it says that embarking on newer paths, I feel like it's not the end of a journey. It's just the start of our journey. And um, I am extremely thankful. And I feel that um, I would love to. It, it, the best takeaway for me was to be permeable to different perspectives. And that's like the major takeaway from the policy camp beyond and besides everything else. So thank you very, very much. Thank you, Niharika. Congratulations. Nikunj. Hi, everyone. My experience at SPC was enriching and thought provoking. I got to learn a lot of new things. I'm glad that I met this amazing cohort of intellects from all over the country and got a chance to indulge and deliberate with you all. I would like to thank this team at CCS for creating this wonderful program and giving us the honor to be the first batch of the scholars. I will always cherish this experience. Thank you. Thank you, Nikunj. Many congratulations. Ovi? Hi, everybody. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to the Center for Civil Society for organizing this amazing summer policy camp, uh, which I did not know before existed, or for even being the first ones to do so. And for invoking knowledge along with professionalism in me, it definitely got me out of my comfort zone in many ways. And um, now I feel like I have a much clearer perspective on what I want to do with my future. Not only have I grown as a person throughout, but I have gained immense confidence in this journey of six weeks. I hope to stay associated with everybody, all the lovely people that I interacted with. And thank you once again. Good luck to everyone for their future endeavors. Thank you very much, Ovi. Congratulations. Pooja? Hi, Pooja, are you here? No, I think we can move on. Okay. Ramsha? So, hi. Uh, for me, summer policy camp was an extraordinary experience and one of the best ways to pass my summer. Throughout camp, I learned from such a diverse group of people who have broadened my opinion and take, taken me uh, taken me to hearing. Uh, they've brought forth such new perspectives into me towards policy and towards a variety of new subjects that I came to know of and helped me to grow, reflect, learn, and have opened up so many new possibilities for me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ramsha. Congratulations. Sahil? Hi. So uh, first of all, this camp really helped me grow as a political enthusiast. And I learned a lot of other views and other ideologies. And even though I was always on the unpopular side of debate, right, even in front of Sarbrud, in front of Sartak, they handled it brilliantly. So kudos to them. And finally, just to end it all, thank you for never giving us up. Thank you for never letting us down. And thank you for never running out and deserting us. Thank you, guys. Have a great time. Thank you, Sahil. Congratulations. Shivansh. Hello, everyone. I had an awesome experience in the policy camp organized by CCS. I made new friends and learned new things. I had a lot of fun. This camp made me think about so many new things and had me uh, so many new thoughts. I thought about the things I'd never uh, thought about before. Uh, these were some of the best six weeks of my life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yuanj. Congratulations. Sujana? Hi, so I first found out about CCS Summer Policy Camp randomly through Instagram, and I'm glad I did. And this is the first time I've done an online course or anything of this kind. And I would have never thought that a six weekend long online course could bring so much positive change in me. And I'm thankful to everyone, Asta, Samruddha, Sarthak, and all my fellow mates who made this possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sudhana. Many congratulations. Stuti? Yeah, hi, um, everyone. I think CCS Summer Policy was a space to grow, not only for me, but for everyone. It was also a journey where I learned, unlearned, and relearned many things here. I really want to thank Asta, Samrita, and Sarta for supporting us and helping us a lot, and for the amazing faculty who have taken so much of time to help us um, with our thoughts, give us more inputs. And again, to the fellow scholars for making it a very interactive experience. Thank you all. All the best for the future. Thank you, Stuti. Congratulations. 
Tamanna. Yeah. So as they say that every new beginning comes from another, uh, from some other beginnings end. I'm glad I got this wonderful opportunity to learn, explore, meet new friends, and get to know myself better as an individual. Every little teaching and experiences gained in CCS will be cherished for years to come. I'm grateful to each one of you for being a beautiful part in this journey of my life. And as I move forward, a part of CCS will live in me forever. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Tamanna. Congratulations. Tanisha? Good evening, everyone. This course has been so insightful, and it's been so interesting to hear such diverse opinions and perspectives about policies and laws that I had never heard of before. This program introduced me to how the government works and who it works for, and has cast India and its laws in a completely different light. Thank you, Samrita, Sarthak, Asta, Asmita, and all of the guest speakers for making this such an enjoyable experience. Thank you so much, Tanisha. Congratulations. <coughs> Do we have Vasada? So I just wanted to thank you for giving us a self so that we would be able to reflect more than we see. These six weeks have changed my belief greatly and I'm going to miss each and every one of you so much. Thank you, Vasudha. Congratulations, Vidhi. Hi, Vidhi, are you here? I think we can move on to that. Vipul? Hello, everyone. Uh, this uh, uh, summer policy can give me outlook towards uh, uh, towards society, government policies, and yes, the system which we are part of. I met all intelligent fellows in this community. I'm very happy that I utilized my summer times learning new stuff. This was amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you, Vipul. Congratulations. Arya? Uh, I don't think he's in the room, but can we have Bakshi? Sure, I'll just... Bakshi, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yes. Hello, everyone. I thoroughly enjoyed every bit of this program. I am definitely taking a lot of knowledge with me. Thank you, Asta, Samuza, and Sadhu for being such and such informative host and friendly as well. Thank you so much. I wish all of you the best in your lives. Thank you, Bakshleen. Congratulations. Um, is there anyone whom we might have missed because you might have joined later? There have been internet issues. Um, Manan would want to go ahead, Samrata. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I am. Uh, so CSS has been an amazing experience. That's the first thing I would like to say. Like many of us, I found it randomly on Instagram one day. Of friend showed it to me and said this is something you should do and from that day onwards all my weekends have been amazing amazing speakers amazing content this was something that i would always remember and use in my future so thank you thank you everyone for the amazing experience thank you manan anybody else you might have missed all right thank you so much guys Stop sharing my screen now. Again, thank you so much, everyone. This was thoroughly heartwarming. And we we deeply cherished these last six weeks of the summer policy camp with you. And this was an attempt to appreciate and reflect on those six weeks. And again, I'd sincerely like to thank all of you for this. Uh, now, I'd like to hand over the mic to our esteemed chief guest, I Minakshi mean, Jolly, ma'am. I Minakshi mean, Ma'am is presently working as the Joint Secretary at the Department of Official Language, the Ministry of Home Affairs, as Asta mentioned. During the years of her service, she, uh, her work has been of invaluable contribution to several ministry verticals. These include women cooperation, development and empowerment in the Ministry of Women and Child Development, her work towards and her work towards inclusivity in education for girls, for people with disabilities and minorities under the Sarf Shiksha Abhyan, the Ministry of Education. In addition to this, she has also worked with the Ministry of Culture and the Ministry of Defense. Ma'am, words cannot begin to describe how much of an honor and privilege it is to have you amongst us today. I hope I hand over the mic to you. Thank you so much, Sarthak. I hope I'm audible to all of you. 
It's been a pleasure connecting with all of you. I've been listening so much about a number of you. And I actually specially requested Asha to have the speakers, the scholars speak before me so that I might know them a bit, you know. So I actually know them a lot and I'm very proud of them. And I must congratulate all of you for leading them, all of them so well. They're proud citizens. They're going to make us all proud. And I'm very happy. Actually, I feel so emotional because we were so worried that what will happen to a country. We were actually having second thoughts. I mean, every generation, the older people have some thoughts about the newer ones. But I'm very happy. And all the 38 scholars need to be congratulated. They have their thoughts very well documented. They have their thoughts very well etched out. And you people have helped them in that, actually. And uh, the first and the foremost point which I must make here is that the past one and a half years, years to be uh, exact, has been very, very tough for all of us. And uh, we in the government have been striving to take all our efforts ahead with even much more force, with even much more gusto, with much more efforts, actually. And the emphasis on the electronic medium, online training, online teaching, and other online methods, as all of you know, you people are actually using it has been double, triple, or rather it has actually multiplied multifold. So the online program which you have actually introduced this year, I wish you all the success. And I actually pray to God that from next session onwards, you should have this as a physical um, in a program where people would actually get to interact with each other, get to know each other, and they would perhaps get to learn more. Although I'm very sure, I mean, you would have actually guided them and taught them the, I mean, the fullest possible extent. Uh, I actually feel honored to be among all of you. And uh, having spent some seven years in the Department of Education, I'm very happy to see that the CCS is actually carrying on its role in the public policy, uh, the molding of the public policy, the molding of the public sentiment, the molding of the uh, public psyche, as you say, very well. Your efforts need to be praised. It needs to be actually, uh, we all need to get together to applaud it. And I would exhort all the scholars here to actually keep on associating with the CCS and uh, keep on coming back, uh, bring your friends along with, and just be in touch with the people here. And anything else you want to know about the places where I worked and any other guidance you would need, if I can be of any help, I'll be uh, very happy for that. Uh, I wish all the scholars, uh, because I think your camp must have helped them realize what they need to do with the future, what path they should take on. I mean, uh, they all are, uh, I mean, 16 plus, what I've been told. So this must be the right time for them to decide what subjects they need to take on, what fields they should opt for, what particular stream they should, I mean, take up. So this is the right uh, sort of guidance they must have got from you. Because I remember when we were in college, we used to have uh, these classes called uh, prep and pre-medicals and that was the uh, the only uh, uh, time for us to decide what to do and we had no other forms of you know like guidance today the children have the online uh, methods they have the email they have the uh, the online coaching they have other forms of coaching available when but when i did my schooling and my college and when i did my mbbs there were no such courses so today's child actually is a very privileged one, which I think all of us must agree. You have the online system, you have the net available with you, uh, you have the emails, you have every form of uh, communication, or even means of communication available to you. So you are a privileged lot, all of you. I must say when I compare your state with what we were almost 30 years back when I was doing my MBBS. Because th today, in the era of uh, pandemic, the children are being taught even dissection on, you know, they're having online classes for that because there is no other option. And we used to go and sit in the dissection hall around the cadaver and share everything we learned. And, but I do wish that the pandemic gets over. It should never come back to India. For that, I think the efforts made by CCS, they need to be lauded. You all need to be congratulated. You all have been working very, very tough for that. And 
uh, our prime minister has been uh, recently, we have been uh, all of us working very hard for the implementation of the NEP. And you've just said that CCS also has got a think tank, has got a group of people working very hard on their own recommendations. So I wish you all success in that. And uh, any help, any guidance which I can provide, I'm always there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being here and sharing so many of your thoughts. I mean, we always look forward to hear from the people who actually are working with the government and can give us real insights for that. So once again, it was a pleasure to have you here uh, and uh, share your thoughts with the scholars. Thank you very much, ma'am, for, for your words. Um, I'm sure, you know, the scholars are going to do wonderful things ahead. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Um, do, we, do we have Mira here? Mira, you probably weren't there when we were um, showing the slides. Would you like to say a few words about your experience? Yeah, sure, actually. Um, so I just wanted to say that CCS was like the part that took me towards government and policy making, decision making. And um, it was like the first step for me. So it was scary, but I'd really like to thank Asta, Samrutha and Sartha for being there um, at every step. And then CCS for make, make, helping me to make a decision. And I, I finally know what I'm passionate about. So that's like really important for me. And it, it was, it I, there aren't any words for me to express how helpful this has been and this one month helped me to get more maturity in my thoughts more clarity and um and also just to give me a network with of people whom i can be with talk to understand and yeah thank you so much thank you mira and congratulations on having successfully graduated um with this i'll actually now open the floor for all the scholars and if your parents are here or any guests are here, if you'd like to share anything about your camp or the parents want to say anything, please, the floor is all yours. <clears throat> Even the scholars, if there's something you didn't get to say in only those 30 seconds, you probably have something more to say, then this is the time to do it. Um, you could share a message for your friends, your fellow scholars. Yes, Niharika. Yes, so one thing I uh, couldn't mention in those 30 seconds, because of course it's too less. Uh, so this one thing that uh, the entire policy camp was very interactive. So the sessions weren't like one person speaking and the other 40 people listening. They made us a part of the workshop. And which is something that I not only learned from the entire camp, but also it was amazing how we could have our inputs and then they would correct us. They would also always encourage us to put across our points of views and then uh, give very constructive feedback for that. So it was amazing that way also. And this is something I couldn't mention and something that I felt was very unique to the policy camp. Thank you, Niharika. Um, Stuti, does your father want? To say something? Yeah, my dad uh, actually wants. Hi, hi, Samrudhi and Asa. This is Tutti's father. Uh, you know, right, we were initially worried if we could accommodate Suti. Thanks for your efforts. I think uh, I, I, she, Suti kept discussing a lot of things towards her journey. Uh, I think uh, it's amazing, uh, you know, that you're giving opportunity for you know, youngsters at 16, 17 years old to actually, you know, give a thought throwing King sessions on most of the important aspects of democracy and what impacts everyone's life. And, you know, it, it's as I rightly agree with the man who spoken earlier. I think uh, these guys, it's a privilege to get this camp, and I'm very sure you are helping uh, uh, in a way to build a better nation and a more democratic and economically progressive nation by seeding thoughts of these topics in in these kids. Um, thanks a lot, and I would obviously love to be, to be a part of this journey as I understand that it's just the beginning, not the end. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. And certainly, yes, this is just the beginning. There's a lot more that lies ahead. Um, anybody else would like to share anything? Yes, Divyansh. 
Um, so I know brevity is the bit of the soul, but uh, one thing which I forgot to mention in those 30 seconds was uh, the wonderful experiences and the wonderful thoughts and perspectives shared by my co-participants and my all the other people in this cohort. So thank you, all of you. You really enlightened me. Um, and another thing which I wanted to mention, which is something which uh, you yourself brought up, is that I'm looking forward to having some collaborations with CCS, with my you know, very own partners in this particular cohort regarding many different events in the future, maybe in my own school, maybe on another platform. And yes, let's just have a great time. And I think I'm never going to forget th forget this experience. Thank you so much. Thank you, Devyansh. We, we really encourage all these callers to, um, you know, keep the association going ahead. And if you need any help from CCS, we'll be very happy to provide you support um, with regard to that. So very glad to hear that. Um, anybody else would like to say something? This is an open floor, guys. Meenakshi, sure, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, you're on mute right now. Yeah. I would request all the scholars here to actually read books more and more. I think the generation to which you all belong to has actually forgotten to read books. And like when we were your age, books were the best friends we had. We had no net, we had no emails. And uh, friends, of course, were there, but the best friends were the books. And uh, I would just request all of you to read more books. I know you all read, but just try to increase the number. It's a sincere request. And uh, uh, I mean, because since the past one and a half years, I'm working at the department where I work in, uh, it relates to the Hindi printing press, which is almost dead now. That's a very sad scenario. And slowly and gradually, I think this will spread to the other sectors also. So it's up to you to revive the books, the, because if you read only then the books will be published and only then the printing industry will flourish. So that's all, thank you. Thank you, ma'am, that, that's really treasured, treasurable advice. Okay. Um, anybody Sorry, else? Just, any just as a suggestion, huh. you know, uh, since all of us keep reading, right, we can have our WhatsApp group as a place where we can just recommend people the books we read. Or if you want to write about the books you read, like a blog piece or something, do keep writing that and CCS would be always happy to publish that. And also in Hindi, we have a blog in Hindi, which is azadi.me. So if you're somebody who writes in Hindi, if you're somebody who writes in regional languages, we are happy to explore how we can take that forward. But, Sorry, and in fact, regional language, if you write, that's even more, more wonderful because you get to read a language also and then learn a perspective also. Sorry to take that. No, the discussions on whether veg biryani is biryani or not is not allowed. <laughs> Just not on you. this platform at least, but if you guys do want to... Yeah, I think for people who are not there in the camp, that's a joke within our camp where we just started a discussion around whether wedge biryani is biryani or not. That was the informal discussion we kept having, but it's still lingering on. Oh, on a, just an end note to that, I think um, Lavina just ended that discussion a little while earlier. Yeah, I mean, um, guys, if you want to take your discussions forward, we'd really encourage that. It, um, that is, you know, you should converse more with the fellow scholars, discuss ideas, bounce them off each other. It really helps. Um, so we'd encourage that. Anything you guys want to um, <clears throat> talk about your experience right now? How can we have a group of young people and uh, be so silent? I'm actually surprised. Why is that? Thick? I hope I'm, uh, I'm audible to everybody. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. And that's exactly what I was about to say as well. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> well, Niharika has her hand up. Niharika, would you want to go ahead? <laughs> yes. One last thing that again I forgot to mention in the very little time I had. Um, so to everyone who I mean who, th- those who don't know, we had TED talks oh, and group okay. TED talks. Yeah. So that was an amazing experience because I always wanted to give a TED talk, and I feel like okay, one part of the journey is complete, and the other part would be a real TED talk later in the future someday. So it was amazing how we had a TED talk, and that was a very different concept. and then we have a movie assignment where we were supposed to watch a movie together and then see what public policy issue it had so that was also amazing it's not that i hadn't watched that uh, movie before but i never watched it through the lens of viewing what problem it has and how which we can solve it which movie was it which movie but, yeah we had to choose as groups we had to choose different movies and our group chose infinity war oh. so Yeah, watching movies and through that lens, the solution-oriented approach to everything that was amazing, and it's something that we can carry on forward for the future too. That's again something that CCS introduced to me. So thank you. These are the sure. best years of your life, children. Actually, these are the years you never forget. And like I have done my MBBS, the four and a half years we spent together. I mean, we were one hundred and twenty-five children in our class. I mean, those are the only four and a half years we remember till today. Everything else just pales, you know. So just enjoy, be yourself, hard, do hard work, read more books, and be spiritual also. As a last advice, I'll give to all of you. Uh, I know I'm sounding preachy, but it helps you, all of you. So thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Ovi. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about this one particular assignment uh, regarding the networking session that we had, where we had to write a note to teachers. The friends part I did, but the teachers part I did not receive a response from that particular teacher. So a bit background: I've been to multiple schools, and there have been many forgotten teachers, friends, and all of that. So it was very difficult to actually choose one. But um, a few days ago, Guru Purnima passed, and um, I actually it actually urged me, you know, it. Uh, so it was sort of a push that you know why not write an email. So I, I wrote to at least five of my previous school teachers, and all of them responded this time because it was over WhatsApp. <laughs> not everybody opens their email, so <laughs> all of them responded. I even got on a call with one of them, and it was amazing. So I think. CC has actually helped me through that and got back a lot of memories. Thank you. We're very glad of you. Hope you keep in touch with them in the future too. <clears throat> Hello, Noor. So yes. So uh, I just want to tell about myself how I began this camp. So very randomly, as I found this, and you know, I'm in the beginning. I was very much nervous about, like, I don't know anything about the policy, and I remember that in the beginning of the sessions, I was quite quiet, and then throughout the session, I grew, I grew more. Then I, I literally feel that I have a personal, I had amazing personal growth. and i remember uh, in the video we also saw that when lakshmi ma'am said this will be the funniest and the produ- most productive six weeks and she truly means it and i can feel that now uh, all the questions i think the cohort the members they put over the questions i was sometimes i was amazed that these ch- these people they are coming up with so amazing ideas and such questions and it forced me to look at one thing from various perspectives it has really opened uh, my way of thinking and it has taught me how to look at one thing from various angles and then analyze and critically analyze that so thank you that is such an amazing wonderful journey thank you harnor lavina uh, yeah so my little sister or my best friend she is here and she is watching the whole thing but she does not want to speak as she is a little shy is it my internet connection or is lavina from she lost her internet connection lavina so, very sorry we lost you a little bit in the middle because of internet issues yeah it's fine can i do it again Yeah, please. please. So she and uh, she just wanted to tell everyone that I am so happy that Lavina Didi invited me to this. 
she was radiating this energy ever since she joined the camp and i didn't quite understand it until now because i can see and feel the knowledge the glow on each and everyone's faces which inspires me to keep my anxiety and shyness aside and participate in something like this as well so yeah that's what she wanted to tell everyone well we very very happy to hear that you know now telling from what lavina said uh, what what louise mentioned really really stays with all of us you know uh, the world is complicated enough don't complicate it more by negotiating against yourself entering into this uh, we were a little bit nervous had like our own inhibitions but you know getting over them is what got us to a point of learning so many new things and I mean, actually i'm just for a little bit of uh, just for a little bit of like preface uh, we had this assignment which mm. which all of these scholars did a very very amazing job in which was uh, analyzing public policy in movies so they took up zootopia hunger games avengers infinity war and uh, and i'm missing one jojo rabbit right and the the policy conclusions and the reflections that came out of it they were absolutely brilliant and i'd like to thank all of you for contributing and participating in every ounce of effort that you gave to this also guys this is a platform where you know we have minakshi ma'am here who has a ton, tons of experience working with the government and public policy um so if you have any questions for her right now this is also a very good platform to be in to interact with her so if you have any questions about ma'am's experience then you can go ahead and do that too yes lavina uh, so one of the things i understood through this policy camp that government is overrated cuz we expect the government to literally everything and there are so many places where the government can just look over and everything else can happen on its own So, what are ma'am's thoughts on it? I just wanted to hear that. Yeah. Can you listen me? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, now, Lavina, the government is very, very clear. The government is. Sorry to interrupt you, ma'am. Uh, your voice is breaking a little. So. Uh... Okay. No, uh, it's very faint. Faint. Let me see. Good now. I'm not actually used to using these. These are Rohan's actually. <laughs> <laughs> But these are good. It's good now. We can hear you clearly. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, actually, Lavina, uh, the government is comprised of people. It's comprised of me and you. All the government uh, servants are also people like you and me. And the government cannot reach to every nook and corner, every citizen. So wherever the government cannot reach. it depends upon the non governmental organizations the policy think tanks people like you the students a common citizen so this is where the hope lies and this is where the policy uh, summer camp held by ccs will come in handy for you you can just think out for yourself your future role what you want to do how you want to do because instead of blaming the government and saying that this is the uh, the loophole the government actually expects all of us to contribute the best we can this is what i have learned in my i mean 28 years of working with the government we need to work with each other and government is always there to cooperate with anybody who comes forward because i have worked so far in women and child i have worked in disability sector i have worked in culture and my experience has been tremendous actually i can go for on i mean on and on for hours together if you ask me and it's been mostly positive actually so that's it what i have to say it all depends upon you yeah thank you ma'am um sahil uh, right uh, ma'am first of all really really motivated by what you said and um really inspired by you so ma'am you told that you have worked in a lot of sectors including girl education disability sector and obviously these would require a lot of outreach towards the grassroots of a society right villages rural areas so ma'am my question is how do you build these bridges to reach the lowest of the lowest in a society and how do you make sure that your points and your you know efforts reach them uh, in a complex society like ours and yeah. in different cultures yeah. culture thank you we have 
level program. Uh, it earlier used to be called the Sarv Siksha Dhyan, and now it's called the Samagra Siksha. And we have. Uh, Mom, your voice is breaking again. Okay. I'm sorry. Now? Is it okay now? Yeah. Now we have the scheme called Samagra Siksha, which covers the education from class uh, nursery to class twelve. And the government actually depends on the states because education is a uh, uh, is a subject which is shared equally by the center and the state. And the state cannot do anything on their own. They again depend upon the community participation. We heard depends upon the, the NGOs, the social workers, students like you, the college students, and other social workers who all uh, they come together, they chip into their efforts. The government funds them a lot. Besides that, we have the society, which is contributing through the, uh, the human man for this, uh, manpower, plus the money also. I have this example of Maharashtra, where we have a lot of crowdfunding happening, actually. And they have been doing a lot through the crowdfunding. They've been building excellent schools. The civil structure, if you happen to see in Maharashtra and in Punjab, it is excellent. In Maharashtra, when I was there in uh, uh, education, we had, uh, um, I think it was uh, uh, 100, uh, uh, I think, uh, 1,000 students could stay there in a whole This is a standard, actually. I'm not uh, aware of how the school is going on, but yes, we had sanctioned the building of such a school. And it was being done totally by the uh, crowdfunding. Some 650 crores were given by the society and by the community. So the power of the community, the power of the organization, like uh, I would um, take the example of CCS here. We have a number of organizations working in the different states also, which are actually working in the sector. So there is no dearth of people here. There. And we have, uh, in fact, we do a lot of networking with this, uh, the with the religious leaders, for example, in Punjab and, for example, in UP and other states, but in Japan, to sort of uh, influence the public opinion. Thank you, ma'am. Um, just before we conclude and end our thing, uh, do we mind putting our cameras on and taking a photo with Minakshi, ma'am? Just a second, let me put on my. Sure. <laughs> Everyone else also, please put your cameras on. It's coming out. Yeah, uh, Ovi, are you putting your camera on? Uh, Satak, do you mind taking a picture? Of course. Uh, Taking the picture in three, two, one. Just one second. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Manakshi, ma'am, once again. It was thank a pleasure you. hearing from you. And God you. bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hmm. I'm going there. Meeting. Hmm. Thank you. Um, I just have a few words to say um, before we do conclude the whole session. <clears throat> um, so it's, it's actually really good to see you all today. You know, most of you all have your cameras on, happy, smiling faces. Um, I'm a little bit sad this thing is ending, but I'm also very happy that we were able to bring such a fruitful thing um, at the end. <clears throat> um, so first of all, let me offer you all my congratulations on having successfully completed um, the summer policy camp 2021. Um, <clears throat> it's a challenge for me to say something that's not a cliche or it's not superficial or repeating what's already been said. So I'm going to give this brief. <clears throat> so the one thing that I hope you all come to appreciate is the limitless ingenuity of the individual human mind and the tremendous ability of individuals to voluntarily cooperate. Too often many people, including me in the past, focus too much on the problems and we lose optimism. The human mind is the ultimate resource we have and we never have to worry about running out of it. It is imperative that we unleash this resource and allow it to be utilized to the greatest extent. And, this, and for this, what's most important is liberty. At the summer policy camp, I have seen so many people who will emerge to be leaders in the future and drive social change. I'm very, very certain about that. 
we all are here because there are problems that we are concerned about in the society and we all want to find solutions to them. <clears throat> to this end, we need to realize that the best kind of public policy is one that allows and encourages people to come up with solutions to these problems and they don't need to rely on others to do it for them. I hope that the summer policy camp has added value to your lives and it adds nuances to your thought process. It certainly did to mine. I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have interacted with you and learn from you all. I have always found this statement, all good things must come to an end to be incomplete. It doesn't sound a very good thing to end on. That's why I think it should be followed by something that goes something like this. But new good things are always starting. With that, I would like to wish you all the best for everything that's in the future for you. And <clears throat> I hope you will all stay in touch. Thank you. Yes, it's tough to link from that. I have one small thing to say to everybody as well. Uh, you know, on that note, it is, it's also very easy to be hopeful on a day like this. It's very easy to be hopeful on a day like this, but there will be dark days. That's when hope is needed the most. No matter how buried it gets or how lost you feel, you must promise me that you all will hold on to hope. In addition to that, my wish for all of you is to become hope because people need that. And even if we fail, what better way is that to live? This is the spirit that policy change needs to harbor. And I wish you all to be the harbinger of that. And as we look around here today at the people who have helped us, you know, become who we are, who have helped, helped us be who we are, I know it feels like we're saying goodbye, but we'll carry a piece of each other into everything we do next to remind us of who we are. So with that, again, I'd like to thank all of you for this incredible six week journey. Uh, and congratulations again. You all have done an absolutely amazing job. So we're good to close. We'll be sharing your official certificates with you on the email in the coming 10 days. And today's screenshots, if you've taken, please feel to free, please feel free to use them on social media, or else we'll also be sending you the screenshots for today. Thank you. Yeah, Nikunj, we go slower. Okay. No, I know. I think you missed uh, the clap reaction, gave us the slower reaction. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, we got a show dog would like to say hi. <laughs> Wait, this needs a spotlight. <laughs> He's been climbing up on me ever since the meeting started. This is very nice. <laughs> we, actually, I was inspired by Ramsha's. I mean, I think he was inspired by Ramsha's dog. <laughs> Sorry, Arshi, were you saying something? Okay, never mind. Okay, guys, then see you in our future programs, definitely. And please be connected to us through WhatsApp, through email, through phone, whatever. But make sure that we all use the space to be connected and work.